we were just about to get married and I was in Vermont doing um, plays over the summer. And I got, I called him up hysterical because I went and got a drastic haircut. And I called him up, really, I couldn't breathe because our wedding was in, you know, two weeks or something. And I went, I got a really bad haircut and I look really ugly. And he went, oh my God, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get an ugly haircut too and we can be ugly together at the wedding. <laughs> and then there was another one. Well, it was the dark twins. Oh God. Um, it was just so great that he didn't try and talk me out of that I had a bad haircut or it was all going to be okay. He just like went down there and held my hand. And there's another great story. The first season of Desperate Housewives, we went to the upfronts. And it was like a feeding frenzy. You know, you go to the upfronts, you meet all the advertisers. Well, the cast of Desperate was there for something like six hours. We were the only ones signing autographs, taking pictures, signing autographs, taking pictures. And I was at the end and everyone wanted to take pictures, understandably, with Nicolette and Terry and all those kind of people. And I was kind of at the end and I had to stick around because I was part of the ensemble. But for six or seven hours, everyone was like, hey, hey, would you take my picture? Uh -huh. Would you take my picture? And it was overwhelming. And I got in the car and I burst into tears and I called Bill and the driver felt so sorry for me because I was crying so hard that he was like, I got a free extra couple hours. I'll drive you anywhere you want. And I went, Bill, I am the oldest and the ugliest one in the whole group. No one wanted to take my picture. And Bill, there was a pause and he went, oh, honey, I'm always the oldest and the ugliest in every group. And it's only going to get worse for us. <laughs> and it made me feel so much better. There are many stories that don't have to do with me. But. We do laugh a lot. God, she makes me laugh. When we got married, she said, uh, oh, Lord, the bride demon got her. And she finally just said, you have to help. And I said, I'm doing everything I can. This is a chick day. I don't know what to tell you. It's a chick day. It's not about the groom. And she said, well, let's not make it a chick day. What do you want? Let's make it part of, you be a part of. I said, Okay, I I don't want to come in from the side, like at the thief, ceremony. At the ceremony, I want to come down the aisle. I want an entrance. And she said, "Done." And I said, "Okay." I said, "Well, what about this? What if we? What if there are two entrances and we come down together?" She says, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> Went better in your head. Huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs>